Um, hello, Aquarian Hobbies and YouTube. Uh, I am uh, <coughs> uh, very happy to be have the opportunity using YouTube to share my experience with uh, all the hobbies uh, out there. <coughs> I'm also learning, so if I uh, say something that's not correct, please. Uh, Welcome to make any comment and uh, suggestions, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, if you are so kind to like my video, uh, I'll be highly appreciate. Uh, today, I am going to clean my filter, so I will just um, use this opportunity to show you how the inside of the filter looks like, and also uh, introduce you to the. Uh, uh, chemical filtration and the bio filtration. Uh, now I am gonna clean uh, a little bit of my tank. The, um, uh, use the uh, siphon to uh, clean up the bottom of the tank. Today I um, received this uh, pound metric that I ordered uh, from Amazon.com. Uh, this is a bio uh, media. Uh, I will talk about it in, uh, in more details um, later. Uh, I just want to show you how the bucket looks like and I will open it and um, we will rinse it, okay? The reason why uh, I choose pound matrix, uh, the pound matrix is bigger size rock than uh, regular matrix. And pound matrix is, by looking at the name, you know they, they, sub they use this in the pond. But I choose pound matrix because uh, I'm not sure if it's correct, but the, but the Beneficial bacteria in aquarium, uh, there's two kinds. One is uh, in, in aerobic and aerobic. So the bigger size rock can uh, host uh, an aerobic bacteria since the water flow is not that good inside big rock in, in the core. So, um, so it will have both beneficial bacteria. So the, the size is bigger, and since I have a big filter, so it will fit well in, in the filter, no problem. Okay, so I already uh, siphoned the tank, and uh, I got some, I got uh, a bucket of my um, my aquarium water. Actually, the uh, main reason I want to siphon the tank is because um, I want to get some of the aquarium water. Uh, at the same time, uh, when I clean out the goldfish poop, I have some aquarium water, which I'm gonna use to rinse um, the um, pound matrix. Because you don't want to use uh, the water from uh, the faucet because it has uh, chlorine in it. Uh, chlorine will clean uh, will kill the bacteria. You don't want to do that. So let's clean the matrix why you want the biomedia because it's very porous. Uh, the you can see it uh, pick up water inside the uh, stone, so the bacteria can live inside the rock. And uh, now I let it sit in my aquarium water, so it will uh, soak up the aquarium water. Uh, actually, the aquarium water has the uh, bacteria in it, 
in doing this, the bacteria will be seated in, in the rock. Um, the a matrix has been soaked up in the tank water for a while, so I'm going to screw it up. Now uh, I'm going to unplug my filter. And you want to lift this um, before you unplug the core. Okay, so the water will not uh, go back. The water will stay in the in the host in the uh, intake and outtake, the intake and outtake tube instead of go back into the filter. <coughs> and I already rinsed uh, my uh, matrix and this uh, bucket, which uh, already soaked with the, the aquarium water. And you can just lift, lift this up. This like lift this up like this. And since you already, you already dipped the um, handle, so the water will stay inside. So I'm gonna open it up like this. This this filter has a UV filtration. This is the switch. Open it up and lift the lift up the top. So you see the UV UV light. Oops. Ah. Okay. So the first uh, uh, filtration that you see here is called uh, Marine Pure high performance biofilter media and it's um cartridge like and uh, I got it on uh, Amazon warehouse so it's already broken but uh, it doesn't matter since you can break this and let it fit inside your um, inside the filter uh, back basket and also I have some Bio ring, the ceramic ring. Okay, and this is one of the filter, and the second filter I have is the scrubby. But since I already got the uh, pound mattress, I'm gonna retire this scrubby and maybe use in my kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Bye bye, Scrubby. The third basket, I have the carbon, active carbon, uh, inside the mesh bag. Inside this mesh bag. And this carbon, I had it in the tank for a while, so I'm gonna um, replace it today. And in the last basket, I have this is sponge sponge okay actually you don't want to um, clean the sponge too much because there's also uh, beneficial bacteria li live inside the sponge sponge is a uh, chemical filtration uh, it will uh, screen out any debris um, leaves uh, t some, something that's too big actually will not be digested uh, or it's uh, not that easy to be digested by the ba bacteria, uh, the beneficial bacteria. Uh, but it also has, uh, it can be uh, chemical, I mean it can be biofilter as well. So just for what I will do is I just, I just rinse it in, inside the 
the water in the uh, filter to get rid of any uh, debris. Let it let the water flow freely. And then I'll put it back. Okay. You probably have noticed. You probably have noticed that I didn't use any um, water from the faucet. Water from the faucet has chlorine, which or some chemicals, which will clean, will clear, kill your uh, beneficial bacteria. And see the the tank, the water in the filter is quite dirty and I'm gonna get rid of it. Now the dirty water is gone and we are ready to put the basket back in. Uh, remember the orientation, the UV light goes in here which it will be at this corner so put it in like this. Put the basket in there. I have enough um, plastic. Actually, I decided not to use uh, carbon this time. Uh, uh, the active carbon actually is not uh, necessary. So I'm just uh, gonna put all the put the palm matches in uh, two of the plastic. See, um, I'll show you when it's not saturated with water. The mat the matrix floats. See, it means it uh, is very light. It's um, so it has a lot of uh, uh, bubble like uh, space inside the the, the rock, and it's so it's uh, very porous and has a lot of um, surface area. So if if it's saturated, it will sink. You want to make sure the the basket um, click together, fit together, and it's flat. Okay, so now it's time to add to put water. And for water, I want to introduce you to this um, conditioner called Prime. This is most efficient and uh, cost cost efficient. Uh, water conditioner. It will uh, neutralize uh, the chemical in your uh, faucet water. So this is very concentrated uh, compared to other brands. So you only need to use very little. And uh, for one um, gallon, this milk milk jar is one gallon. For one gallon, uh, only need uh, two drops. So I'll put two drops of the uh, prime in the bucket. And fill up, fill it up with water. This filter uh, holds three gallons of water. And the reason why you put water in first so you don't have to prime it so hard. Uh, if, the, if there's already water inside the filter, when you turn the power back on, it will just start to flow. Uh, there's um, almost to the top of the uh, filter with water, and I'm gonna put the lid back on. Okay, after doing this, you want to put more water into the, the connector. 
so the top will be filled with water too. You will still hold it like half gallon of water. See? See? Now the water is uh, to the top of the freezer and it's sealed tight. So you can put the put this back on. Put it back. And this step is also important. You will want to plug in the filter before you lower the switch. And lower the switch. Okay. See? Since the there's full of water in the filter, so the the filter will just start the the flow. Successful. Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, please like my video um, and subscribe to my channel. If you have, please uh, feel free to leave any comment and suggestions. I will see you next time, and thanks for watching. Oh, uh, I'm gonna feed them some beans. Beans is good for their digestion. Mm-hmm.